Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, we're going to be spray painting the front of my house using the Graco Magnum Project Painter Plus. So I'm going to be showing you what's inside the box, what's all in front of me right here, how to operate this system, and how to properly spray it onto your project. So stay tuned. Opening the box, you have your instruction manual, you have your 50 foot of hose, very, very good quality. Um, you have your spray nozzle right here, um, very well made. You can tell that it's made out of metal. It also has this pump armor. When you store your, your system, it doesn't clog up, prevents clogging. And then you have your full system right here, the Magnum Project Painter Plus, and the inlet and the outlet hoses so i'll leave the link down below where you can get this system it's, it wasn't that bad for its price so i had to try it out i was so tired of just using rollers and paint brushes and i just want to try it for myself and see how fast i can finish the front of my house with this system let's hook it up let's prep the front of my house let's cover everything and let's get right to it So before we use the system, what you need to do is flush the system out of storage fluid. So what you're going to need to do is you need to plug this into an outlet with the ground. You're going to take the suction and what I did was I filled up a bucket of water right here, submerged that, the suction part into the water and put the drain on a empty bucket as so. Just like that and then you're gonna put the switch up into this position and what you're gonna do is turn it on and let it run for 30 to 60 seconds Something to consider if you are using water based paint use regular water if you're using um, oil based make sure you use mineral spirits I'm using a water based paint make sure that you stir this really well also it also helps um, since this is a brand new paint um, I don't need I'm not gonna be straining it but it is highly advised that you strain this into a strainer so that all that gunk and stuff will be filtered Put the suction valve inside the paint. Still keep it on prime position. So once you see that paint come up, put it back, put it on spray mode. Reattach that to here. Switch it up to the desired pressure. Now I have the nozzle onto horizontal. So again, I'm going to be spraying it from up top to bottom and I'm going to overlap it 50% on each strip. So let's test it right here. I covered literally this area in less than two minutes so that was super fast this thing is legit it's airless you don't hear any compressor going on and it's pretty much just those two in a bucket 
and you can rotate this nozzle up vertical or horizontal depending on your conditions quick tip when you're spraying make sure that you spray keep your wrist on a straight position don't spray like this or else you're gonna have uneven spray pattern so I picked the very best day today where it's like super windy I gotta do it since I got everything covered anyways and it's for you guys so let's continue painting the rest of this area After you sprayed everything, make sure you give it a few minutes and then you can carefully just take out your drop or your carefully just take out all the masking tape, clean any overspray that you might have later. I'll clean that up with a, a brush. But yeah, make sure you take your time to mask everything up all the fine detailing i'll do that later but yeah let's take out all this There's nothing more satisfying than seeing everything come off and revealing the beauty clean what do you guys think now let's take that top part off so here it is guys the final result I finished this all this side if in one hour in less than an hour I got everything nice and sprayed I mean this sprayer is amazing you do the proper masking and it does wonders I couldn't be more happier of the results check how even everything is and these windows complement that white color so stay tuned, I'm gonna color my gutters black to make more contrast. But overall, what do you guys think? So now it's time to clean up. What you're gonna do is pretty much take this and suction part, take it out of the paint bucket, put it into the dirty pail right there. So now we're gonna do is so we're gonna flush it with a garden hose, so water-based paint. This is the um, the fastest method, so you're gonna attach the adapter. This out, take out this filter. Now attach this to that. So now we're gonna disconnect the spray gun from the hose. Right when you turn this valve, this should drain of all the paint inside the hose line. So guys, that's pretty much is the review for the Graco Power Painter Plus. Let me know in the description down below what you think of the final outcome of my project and what you guys think of the how to the operation of this whole system right here. 
in my honest opinion I love it it is amazing I mean I cut my time super short if I was to use a paintbrush or a roller I would have it would have taken me hours this thing cut my time I finished one side of my house in less than an hour I mean given I had to do a lot of masking and a lot of drop dropping off but overall when you get this thing going it's pretty much straight through and it's super quick I had a Wagner sprayer before and I didn't like it so much it did break down on me but I decided to try this out and I'm so glad I did. I'm not sponsored by Greco. I'm just reviewing and letting you guys know that this thing is worth it. Again guys, if you guys are interested on this product, I'll leave it in the description down below. I'll leave it where I got it. Um, this is the cheapest out of all the models. Um, I believe this actually did very well. I don't know how the other models are, the top models, but this being the low model for its class, I did it performed extremely well so I'll leave the description down below where I got this product make sure you click that link and try it out for yourself thank you so much for staying within this whole video if you made it this far um, if you could kindly press that like button if you like this video it would greatly help out the channel a lot and it will, I know these videos do take time and I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and also please press that subscribe button so they can always be in tune what's coming up with my project builds around the house because i will have a lot more things how to's diy's and so forth so make sure you guys stay tuned on that thank you so much see you on the next episode